There's an enormous amount of resources online about educational tips and how to ace your exams. Some of them work and some of them not so much. So I decided to make my own video about how to be successful academically with the tips that really worked for me. If you don't know me, I study neuroscience and behavior at Columbia University and I've taken many STEM classes like physics, calculus, chemistry, etc. And I won multiple championships in biology when I was in high school. Although these tips do not apply to every single person on this planet they will be useful to everybody in stem out of stem or if you want to just achieve certain things in life there's a small section at the end of this video about procrastination as i saw many comments about it in my shorts the first tip and the holy grail to succeeding in my stem classes is this you aren't going to succeed in your stem classes without doing stem problems first step i do before going to a lecture or watching a lecture is watching final exam or midterm review videos on youtube on a topic that i'm studying. The most important thing these videos usually do is give you a big picture on the overall concept and give you a recipe on how to solve problems. You take these recipes and make flashcards and learn how to solve certain types of problems. Let's say I am studying harmonic motion and simple pendulum. It would be much easier for me to memorize that the velocity of the pendulum only depends on the length of the string and gravity. It does not depend on mass or anything like that. So it would be easier for me to to derive the formula that velocity equals um, square root of 2gh because I watched this little videos where these concepts are summarized really well and I can memorize them better. This tip alone helped me raise my exam grades exponentially and I really wish I knew this sooner. Second tip is using active recall. Learning is supposed to be uncomfortable. If I don't feel uncomfortable when I'm learning and there isn't this tingling sensation in my brain, I don't know how to best describe it, but I don't really feel like like I'm actually learning. The neural pathways being built in your brain require active recall. So what is active recall? It's basically taking topics that you need to learn and constantly testing and questioning yourself on them. So creating questions that lead to an explanation of the concept or creating flashcards and trying to actively recall answers from your memory. Rereading lecture notes or books creates this thing called illusion of knowledge. When you're rereading a book, you are going to be familiar with the pages and the concepts, but that does not mean that you're actually retaining information. I think the best method is to create questions and try to explain them because that's how you're going to see the gaps in your knowledge and you're going to be able to fill those gaps. Educational books usually have questions at the end of the chapter that are made for this exact active recall reason. In the beginning of the chapter, they also have the concepts that they want you to understand and learn, which you can also use for active recall. I've read many interesting studies about how active recall actually improves working memory, which is strongly correlated related with intelligence. Sometimes though, we just have to memorize things. Like there is no reasonable explanation. You just have to know the 12 cranial nerves with the right order and their functions. Or you just have to memorize the strong and weak acids and bases in chemistry. This is where my third tip, mnemonics, come. I mean, this is usually a very popular tip and you probably already know about it. What I like to do is usually go and type in YouTube search bar mnemonics for a certain topic I am learning. There are so many amazing amazing resources online, which is actually how many years back I memorized the unit circle 30 minutes before my exam. And the fourth tip is meditating. I know many people are scared of meditating or they don't find it useful at all. I think many people just don't understand what meditation even is. Uh, like my professor at Columbia thought that thinking one thought will ruin the entire meditation, which is completely false. At the age of distraction and information overflow that we live in, we need our brain to take a rest and just be present in our body. Another name for this is mindfulness where you're present in your body and you're focusing on your breath. According to studies, this will tremendously increase your focusing abilities and consequently your test taking abilities. But overall, just being able to sit with yourself is a very peaceful experience which will teach you how to prioritize what really matters to you. And the last part of this video, as I said, will be about procrastination. I am not gonna lie, I struggle with procrastination a lot and there are some tips that actually really helped me. Number one is this phrase, the cost of procrastination is the life you could have lived. 
Like this phrase really changed my life. It is true and it applies to other areas of life as well. Like every time you procrastinate eating healthy or exercising, you are absolutely paying with your future health. I have this phrase framed over my bed in my dorm and I look at it every day and I think it helps me get things done. Second tip for procrastination is using a Pomodoro timer. I think that having an extreme mindset like you will study 10 hours every day does not work. Obviously, you're not going to want to sit there for 10 hours. So your body is going to do anything and everything in order to procrastinate. Using a Pomodoro timer, having 25 minute intervals is really helpful. If you tell yourself that you are going to do work for the next 25 minutes, you're more likely to start rather than thinking of it as 10 hours. This again also applies to other areas of life. Like you you cannot eat healthy and exercise every single day. You need breaks because you're human and having this kind of extreme mindset is not very healthy. And third tip, create a list of tasks that you need to accomplish today, but also be realistic with it. Break down those tasks into smaller tasks. So let's say you have to write an essay. Break down those tasks into write an intro, claim or thesis, first body paragraph or first argument, etc. And then when you finish your task, you can cross it out from your list. I have noticed that this feels very rewarding and you want to like do more work and cross out those tasks which in the end accumulates and your homework is pretty much done. I hope this video was helpful and if you would like to see a part 2 or similar videos to this, please like and subscribe. I would love to see you in the future. If you have any other useful study tips, please drop them down below so we can all read them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.